subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for watching more video all right so in this video we're going to create some materials let's create a material for unbleached flower it's a raw material so we're going to select a material type of raw don't worry about industry sector so it doesn't have any control over how this material behaves it's used for reporting so as soon as you go to mm01 put your material put your material type and hit enter you're going to get these views and the views that you get are based on the material type like we discussed in the previous video so flower unbleached and this is a raw material hit enter and these are the views now do we need all the views for purchasing you don't really need all the views although sap allows you to maintain all these views for a raw material we don't need them now for now just select basic purchasing and accounting with just these three views you can do the entire purchase order cycle because we're going to procure raw materials right our job as an mm consultant is to configure the system so that you can procure raw materials we don't care about manufacturing at this point that's the role of a pp consultant for us we care about purchasing so just these three views are more than enough later when we talk about mrp and consumption based planning we'll talk about the mrp views so hit okay and then it asks you for which plant do you want to maintain this data now why is sap asking this question because purchasing data for each plant could be different now think of the plant in chicago that we have we have a plant in chicago and we procure unbleached flour good let's say if i have another coffee shop in seattle i procure unbleached flour there as well and the type of data there could be different from the type of data in chicago we'll see some examples for now let's select cha1 hit okay then give a description unbleached flour and the base unit of measure is pound and material group is 015 don't bother about material group and before you go further go to additional data and i want to show you something you can maintain the data in different languages meaning think of starbucks starbucks has stores across the world the same coffee is called as something else in german or french language right so when you print a po in france it should print in french language right you can maintain the material description in different languages because one system can support any number of languages so this is what is so let's say I don't know what it's called in German so I'm just going to say unbleached flower in German. So this is how you can maintain descriptions in different languages. Next go to unit of measure. Again, in the US we use pounds. In India we use kilograms or in Great Britain we could use something else. So it's the same material unbleached flower you got to be able to use and convert this into any kind of denomination for weight or volume or whatever be the unit of measure and over there you could specify the conversion rate for standard units sap already has the conversion but you could have your own units of conversion think about beer a crate of beer for budweiser could be 12 cans or 12 bottles a crate of beer for corona could be eight bottles that's very very specific to the company and sap does not have a say in it right they can't say what a crate is 
So you can maintain your own units of conversion here. In our case, for example, we could procure flour in bags and each bag could be say 25 pounds. So you say one and then you select bag. I don't know what's the unit of measure for bag. So let's go here and search star bag. Oh, there's no unit of measure for bag. So let's select something that's close. You could create your own unit of measure, but that's fine. We don't bother about it now. Say a carton. Okay. One carton is equal to say 25 pounds. Okay. So anytime you use carton in your purchase order, SAP can automatically convert that into LBs if you don't want, if you want. If that is the unit of purchasing unit of measure, because when you think of carton as a company, your vendor might not understand it. So this unit of measure conversion that you specify here will be used depending on the nature of your action. If you are doing sales, the unit could be different. If you're doing purchasing, the unit could be different. If you're doing manufacturing, the unit could be different. So depending on the type of action, when SAP tries to convert, it takes the conversion rates from here. All right, now we can go back and then hit enter. It takes you directly to the purchasing view. If you go look at all the views here by clicking on this little button, you have selected basic data one, purchasing and accounting, right? So although you have selected them, you can specifically click on any of the views that's available here and go maintain data. But if you don't select a particular view and hit enter, the system automatically takes you to the next selected view. In this case, we have the next selected view is purchasing. So in purchasing, we select a purchase group. Remember what's a purchase group? A purchase group represents a group of people responsible for purchasing a certain set of materials. It could be based on materials, it could be based on location, depends on how that company wants to do its division of procurement. So in this case, I'm going to use the one that we have created, US1. Hit enter. And finally, it went down to the accounting view because we have selected only three views, remember? Basic data, purchasing, accounting. So in accounting, there is something called as a valuation class that deserves a bigger topic. So I'm not going to do too much into the depth here. For now, select valuation class, select 3000 and here instead of price S and here select V for moving average and hit enter. It's going to throw you a message. Just ignore it. Hit enter again. And you have come to the end of the screen. Do you want to save it? Yes, of course. So the system is saving unbleached flower material that we have just created. Flower dash UNBL. So what have we done here? We have selected three different views. Basic data one, purchasing and accounting. And we have selected a unit of material. We want to sell in pounds or kilos. Select a material group. Don't worry about material group for now. We'll talk about it later. And we went to additional data. And then we have described the material in different languages. And we have seen why we need to describe them. And then there is unit of measure conversion. If you are going to procure or produce or manufacture flour in different units of measure other than pounds or kilos, you need to specify the conversion here. For example, carton to kilos, pound to kilos. SAP, like I said, SAP will already have all the basic conversions ready. Whatever SAP does not have, you can specify them here. So that's unit of measure conversion. And then we moved on to the purchasing view and we specified a purchasing group that we have created here. And then on to the accounting view, we specified a valuation class, specified a price control of V and then hit save. 
your material flower underscore unbl for unbleached is ready.